Sanskrit word karma means actions. Uh, and actions themselves, themselves uh, for them to have any kind of moral weight, arise from intentions. So the karmic, the, 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 the quality of an action and how it therefore leads to a particular result it d depends not on the action itself per se, uh, but mostly from the motivation. So karma is essentially a, an act of mind. So, generate, so for instance, impelled by a negative uh, emotion, one founded on self-centeredness, an emotion such as aggression or, or desire, that prompts us to unskillful actions, actions which will lead inevitably to suffering for ourselves and, of course, in many cases, for other beings. So they are, in that sense, non-virtuous. They do not lead to good results. But actions that are prompted f from an impulse, from a motivation that has overcome aggression or overcome desire, those we call virtuous actions, and they lead necessarily to positive results, to happiness for ourselves and, if they affect others, happiness for, for, for them. So karma is action. Often in the West we think karma is the result, we talk about it in that way, but that is in Sanskrit vipaka, that means result. So perhaps you should say actions as causes and their results. And that then encapsulates everything we mean by the term karma. But it is particularly important that we understand that the, def the, the thing that largely shapes both the quality of the action and its outcome is motivation. That doesn't mean, by the way, what we say in, you know, like, it's not enough for me to have a good intention because we could have a good intention, but if we hadn't examined how this action will work, then we're doing it under the influence of ignorance. And ignorance is a non-virtuous motivation for Buddhism because ignorance is a refusal to examine cause and effect. So a truly virtuous action is one that is done having overcome desire, hatred, and ignorance. So merely having the right intention in a kind of sentimental, approximate, emotional way does not mean it's a virtuous action. It must be one that is accompanied also by an absence of ignorance. We must very much understand that. When we, we put the emphasis on motivation, we mean motivation in this fuller, uh, more complete sense. So our happiness, our future happiness, and indeed our possibility to travel further on the spiritual path depends upon us choosing now the right, the positive, actions which will produce those situations in the future and similarly our frustrations and disappointments and disillusionments in short our misery our miseries in short our sufferings they've arisen from our choice to privilege self over others and therefore act out of the disturbing emotions of desire hatred and and ignorance it's in this sense that karma can be said to shape the world we shape who we are and how we respond to things by our actions. No God, no external force, no random element did this. We create our, our future. That is how karma works. <laughs>